Hi guys, I'm Ben from Adapts Looks and welcome back to the monthly macro challenge. Uh, we took a little bit of a break for January, but we're back now with a brand new theme, some new prizes. And of course, we still need to take a look at some of the entries and the winners from December's challenge. If you want to know how to enter these challenges and potentially win some prizes, stick around to the second half of the video and I'll tell you exactly how to enter. For now, I'm going to jump over to the computer and take a look at some of the entries that we got for our Christmassy December challenge. So then guys, we're over here on the Adapts Looks Photography community on Facebook and at the top of the community is our monthly macro challenge post and then of course as a comment all of your lovely um, entries to the competition in December which was Christmas magic. So we've got lots of lovely festive Christmassy photos to have a look at. Uh, as usual, we can't get through all of them, but we will take a look at some notable mentions and then we have our runner up and our winner. Uh, so the very first notable mention this month is going to be from Lynn, who has been doing some light painting. A uh, lovely little bauble in the middle here, and then uh, clearly a long exposure moving some LEDs um, around the outside of the bauble. Uh, I'm not sure whether these are uh, adapter looks lights, but um, I know that Lynn does have some, uh, so potentially these are a couple of lighting arms, red and green, just swung or moved around the bauble in a, a long exposure so uh, really interesting take on the Christmas magic theme to begin with uh, thank you very much Lynn Next up, we've got Chris, who has taken a slightly different approach to the Christmas theme uh, and gone with a Christmas cactus, which is a type of flower, I understand. Um, and I really like this shot. It's a very unique angle um, looking at the stamen of the flower here rather than uh, front on. We've got lots of depth with these petals um, sticking out from the side. Uh, so although not traditionally Christmassy, um, I think it counts simply because uh, we have Christmas in the name of the flower. Very well done, Chris, and thank you for your entry. Next, of course, we've got to have some Lego. It is the monthly macro challenge. Uh, people are really taking to uh, the little mini figures. Uh, so we've got a little mini figure golfer here trying to have a round of golf. Um, unfortunately, stuck in the snow. Um, <laughs> very whimsical um, shot here uh, from Gordon. So very well done, Gordon. Um, you seem to know that uh, I like my Lego shots. Uh, so um, you get a notable mention. Next up, we've got Bev with um, yet another bauble. Lots of baubles, they make for very interesting macro subjects. Um, and we've got a couple of variations of this bauble because Bev couldn't decide which one she prefers. And to be quite honest, we can't decide either. We've got um, three of the same bauble with the same colors, uh, but from all different angles. Um, and each one of them works in their own way. We've actually got uh, one from the side, a much closer closer one here as well and then one from the top which uh, adds a little bit of symmetry and it really works with the green and the red very Christmassy colors which we've seen a couple of times already uh, so very well done Bev uh, very nice um, bauble photos now for our runner-up for this month we have Stephen Robson with his spider on yet another bauble um, now usually we don't go for spider photos but this one is particularly cute. Um, he's also got some lovely festive uh, bokeh uh, in the background. Perhaps this is added in post, but it looks a little bit like snow, adding a little bit of extra um, festive feel to the image. Um, and this texture of the bauble is really interesting as well. Uh, so it's not just a spider photo, which would not be particularly Christmassy on its own, um, but that added festivity around the spider, I think tips it over the edge. Very well done, Stephen. You're our runner-up for uh, December. Our winner for this month is going to be Magda's lovely feather photo here with um, water drop and some glitter. Uh, now, this is entitled Christmas Magic. Even though feathers aren't the first thing that you would think of as being Christmassy, I think Ma Magda has succeeded in adding a little bit of a magical feel to this one using some of that colourful um, glitter to add a little bit of bokeh into the foreground and the background in a very unconventional way. The bokeh in these Christmassy photos is usually 
found from a twinkling Christmas tree or something like that, but using this colourful glitter to add a little bit of sparkle into a plain white feather is quite fun. Um, of course it's a really nice image anyway with its uh, composition and the, the water drop there as a point of focus, um, so very well done Magda, you're our winner for December. So once again, a huge thank you to everybody that took the time to enter their Christmassy images into December's challenge and very well done to the winners. It is now a new year and a new month, which means we need a new theme. And being that it's February and it's quite chilly outside here in the UK and I've been wearing uh, my jumpers and things again, I thought a good theme would be textiles. Maybe some close up images of uh, fibers interacting, uh, your clothes, some blankets, carpets, anything like that. I want to see some close-up and macro images of fabrics and textiles. With a new theme, we need some new prizes. So this month, our winner is going to be getting one of our 100mm clip-on phone macro lenses. These are really easy to clip onto the camera on your phone and get a lot more magnification, take your macro around with you in your pocket. The runner-up for this month's challenge is going to win some of our background gradient cards, which are lovely little uh, coloured pieces of card which you can use to add a lot of colour and a lot of interest to the background of your macro shots. As usual, the way to enter the macro competition is to head over to the Adapt Looks community group on Facebook. I'll put a link to that down in the description of this video, and at the top of that group there'll be a pinned post. Uh, it'll be talking about the macro challenge, and you just need to enter your textile photos as uh, a comment on that post. So each comment needs to have a photo with it, and you'll be automatically entered into the competition. February's challenge will run from today, the 1st of February, right through to the 24th, when we'll be closing the uh, competition, ready for some judging and a brand new video just like this one on the 1st of March. The very last thing that you need to do is hit the subscribe button so that you're here in a month's time to take a look at some of the entries and of course the announcement of the winners. If you need some inspiration of what to do with your texture photos, I'll link a couple of videos just here which might give you a few ideas. For now, that is all that I've got time for. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.